Hi there. Today we're going to talk about price and go over what it really takes to sell your house. Plus I'll give you a lot of good tips and secrets and I'll show you why I'm different than other agents and how that's good for you and helping you sell. Selling your house really comes down to only two things, price and positioning. And before we go any further, let's talk about the elephant in the room and that is the price. No matter what anyone tells you, the value of your house is determined by the market and we have to realize that we can only make educated guesses about the price and understand that even the best marketing in the world is not going to sell an overpriced house. This is why pricing is the most important aspect of selling your house. So what is the right price? Well the right price is what the market of serious buyers will accept and go see. And you better believe that serious buyers know the market and the price range for the areas that they are interested in. Most buyers will look at 10 to 12 houses before they make a decision and if you are priced above the market, your house won't even come up on the radar of serious buyers. But let me give you an example. I had a seller with a house in a great neighborhood that was very desirable and it was in a great school district, close to all kinds of shopping and entertainment. The house was in good condition with modern appliances and an open layout that's very popular and this should have sold within 60 days but the seller wanted to price the house just higher than the price I was suggesting which was market price at $199,900 and I told the seller to expect to pay some of the buyers closing costs and expect to negotiate the price down somewhere between $193 and $196 but in the end I worked for the seller and we priced it like the seller wanted so the seller could have room to negotiate we only went $3,600 higher and priced at $2035 Normally when a house like this hits the market and is priced right, we could expect 3 to 5 showings in the first week and 10 to 12 showings in the first 30 days. With this house, we only had 2 showings in the first 45 days. Well, about this time, the seller was questioning the marketing plan we had in place, but we were able to agree to lower the price to $199.9, and within the next 10 days, we had 8 showings and we were under contract for $196,000. See, what the seller didn't understand was that serious buyers know the market and the price range for the areas that they're interested in, and even just being a few thousand dollars over their price point, and it wasn't even on any buyer's radar. The other issue to worry about is the buyer's perception of value. The longer your house sits on the market, the less valuable buyers think it is. So once you start getting around 90 to 100 days on the market, buyers have stopped looking at your house. Or at best you may receive a few lowball offers because buyers think that you're getting desperate and they can get a great deal. So you don't want to spend time testing the market because you're losing perceived value. Well that's it. That's all there is to it. And you really don't have anything to lose. And I never want you to feel any pressure or obligation. I'm here to help and hopefully you found that information helpful. And thanks for taking the time to watch the video. And if you have any questions, please feel free to give me a call.